Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel and it's time for an epic empties video. This is where I get to share my final thoughts on products that I used from beginning to end. And this is everything that I emptied for the last three months from March to May. I emptied a lot, a lot. So it's probably going to be a long video. Let's just get right into it. You know the drill, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So first up is cleansers and I've got lots of empties because just like I said in the last empties video, my cleanser cabinet is kind of nuts right now and I've been really trying to slim it down. I've been doing a pretty good job at it too. So first up is the Hada Labo uh, Goku Jan Oil Cleanser. Now this has been a 2019 like end of year like best product. I really, really like this. It's super duper affordable. It's completely fragrance free and I love it. <laughs> this is also also um, a Japanese skincare product so you can actually get a refill for this which I like even more because it saves this pump which is not recyclable by the way it keeps it from going into a landfill when you just refill this bottle which I think is great and I have refilled this bottle already and I'm not going to recycle this I'm going to keep the empty because I very likely will get the refill in the future um, it's a pretty like straightforward oil cleanser medium weight uh, texture rinses away really cleanly gets the job done and I mentioned like it's super affordable and fragrance free love this one now another oil cleanser that I love is the isn't tree my cellar melting cleansing oil this was a best of 2020 <laughs> end of year recommendation however this product was recently discontinued don't ask me I don't know why it's perfect I don't I don't know. I think it's a mistake. I emptied my very last bottle of this good to the last drop, but unfortunately will not be able to get this one again in the future. Now, recently I really got into micellar water. I like to use it in the morning time. It's really, really gentle on my skin, but it just makes me feel a little bit more refreshed than just water, especially when I'm going straight into like a morning time workout. So this is the Isn't Tree Micellar Washing Cleansing Water. Pretty sure this one's not discontinued. And this is actually the first micellar water that really like got me into micellar water. Um, so I really like this product and I will, admit there's still some at the bottom of this bottle let me tell you I was waiting to film this video until this was completely empty because I was like I got this has got to make it into the video but it just didn't quite make it and I was like it's time to film this will be empty by the time this video is edited and posted but I'm just being completely honest with you a few more days of use um this one I don't have a backup of right now I think this is great it's a big recommendation but I will admit I've become a little bit more infatuated with the Rovectin um, micellar cleansing water that I named a, ooh, I want to say it was an April favorite. Um, I really like that one. So I'm just kind of focusing my attention on that right now. Okay, I'm running through these really quick. This is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser, December 2020 favorite. Um, love, love, love this cleanser. Um, it's low pH, it's fragrance free, it's gentle, but I still feel like really clean. You know what I mean? Like I'm not like questioning like, did this cleanser clean my face? This cleans the face really well. It just doesn't strip it of any essential uh, moisture on the skin. So I really like this one a lot. There are a lot of cleansers that I like, a lot of gentle and effective cleansers. This happens to be one of them, but uh, no backup on this one as of yet because like I said, my cleanser cabinet is insane. Next is the By Wish Trend Acid Duo 2% Mild Gel Cleanser. You know, I occasionally do like an exfoliating face wash. Not all the time, but occasionally, and this is one of the ones that I do like. I usually actually just keep this in my shower because this is the type of product I would use after a sweaty workout. Um, especially because like when I'm sweating and I'm getting super hot and I'm working out, my skin is a lot more prone to um, getting really cloggy. Um, so having something like this with some gentle light exfoliation that washes off the skin, which kind of helps increase its like gentle factor, you know what I mean? This is like all my skin needs. It's just that extra boost to keep my skin clear. I also like to use this like on my chest and like on the tops of my arms. So this has been like a shower site staple for me for a while and it's 
finally empty. So last month I did kind of like a mini empty review. I did an empty newbie video and I just really focused in on products that I had emptied and what I was going to replace them with. So I'm just going to quickly go through these because they're already covered in the video. But I thought it was funny because in that video I featured my first Cosrx Sika toner empty and I had told you that I had replaced it with the Cosrx Sika toner and um, they're both empty now. <laughs> I love this toner so much. I've already gone through two bottles and I go through them so stinking fast. This package is super small, but it is a standard 150 toner size. But I'm just saying, I say it every time. Cosrx, jumbo size, please, because I am just slamming through these toners so fast. In that video um, of empties and newbies, I did cover the Make Prem Safe Me Relief Essence Toner. This is just one bottle. It's just the first bottle. Um, and I told you I replaced it with another bottle of this. This is probably like with the Sika toner, probably one of my top favorite toners. Recent discovery, but I absolutely love this one. Next up is the Beauty of Josan Ginseng Essence Water. And I actually use this like a hybrid toner essence product. It's definitely like a two in one and I love that because it's got a nice hydrating lightweight texture but it also has two percent of niacinamide along with the ginseng for the complexion benefit so definitely a nice little bang for your buck with this one um, and I really like this um, my first bottle this that's this is this one this was part of a sponsorship that I did with the brand just want to be completely clear about that but I do have a backup bottle because I do really like just genuinely enjoy this product which is why it's empty next is the by wish trend quad active boosting essence how long have i been talking about this product like ever since it came out last spring is this has just been like on constant rotation in my skincare routines i believe this is my second empty bottle i just opened my third and i'm totally open to a fourth <laughs> I'm, I'm going to embrace this in my skincare routine for a very long time. This is the type of product I reach for when my skin is kind of breaking out, when it's getting more textured and clogged, if I'm getting pimples. I reach for this because I have very sensitive skin and so I can't just go straight in for like chemical exfoliation and spot treatments. I, I have to be very careful about that because it can very easily lead into irritated uh, skin. So I have to be careful. And this is the type of product that is incredibly gentle on my skin, but it really helps like get those pimples out of my life and really help keep my skin inflammation free, reduce redness, it does have like a natural exfoliation benefit. It's got 10% of willow bark extract. It's just not aggressive on the skin. It's just enough to kind of get the pimples on their way to healing, um, but it's not so aggressive that I'm dealing with dry and tight and irritated skin. Ooh, I'm running through these really quickly, aren't I? All right, let's talk about propolis serums. This is the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence really like this one has been in my videos for a very long time but i really do kind of think about this like my fall and winter time propolis serum because i always have propolis summer in my skincare routine right um but this is a much richer moisturizing luxurious silky propolis texture and that's excellent when it's really dry outside and cold and the weather is very harsh but we're going into summertime now and um, i still actually use propolis in the summertime i just use lighter weight textures next up are two mini ampules this is the Cosrx uh, D Panthenol ampule and the Innisfree uh, True Care AC Soothing Ampule. And I actually just did a this or that on these like two months ago, I think it was. Um, and I like both of these products. I just don't like that they come in mini sizes because these are the types of products where you get like a couple of the small ampules like in one like cardboard box. I just think it's wasteful. I already consume, you can see, I already consume a lot of skincare. So for me, these aren't the best choice out there. If it is for you, that's absolutely fine, right? I think these are both really great products, but it is always something to consider, right? Um, just like we should be considering this in every facet of our life, not just from our skincare products. But um, I did use both of these up and I do like them. The Innisfree one comes with four. So I have like three more of these in my little stash. And then the uh, Costarex one, it just comes with two. So I just have one more left of these. But um, if you really love, you know, some good, fresh, potent Panthenol, either one of these is a great choice. Definitely check that video out if you want to decide between the two. Okay, next up is Stradia Liquid Gold. I don't really need to go over this, do I? 
like no <laughs> it's basically in every empties basically every empties video i've been using this product in every single pretty much every single skincare routine since 2018 so what more is there to say it's been all over my channel i absolutely love it you know i already opened another bottle and i actually do have another backup so like it's not going anywhere you're gonna keep seeing this on my channel claire's fundamental eye awakening gel look it is not every day that you empty an eye cream am i right like there are certain skincare products that are very hard to empty um and this is one of them eye creams super slow to get to the bottom of them and i'm very proud to tell you this is actually my second empty of the fundamental eye awakening gel i love this i purchased this um Mm, last year maybe last fall it was kind of open for a little bit long but like I said it takes a long time to empty them and I just I really enjoy this especially for warmer temperatures this is a favorite of mine because the texture that gel super plumping super hydrating it's got moisture to it it's not like a nothing type of gel texture but it's just so much lighter than the creams. It doesn't have that richness that can sometimes feel greasy in hot weather. So I just really like this. It's definitely like a regular part of my eye cream like rotation, I guess. And like I said, I've already opened my third bottle and it's definitely gonna get some heavy use this summer. So recently I've been kind of like cleaning out my skincare. Um, it's, it's a mess. I mean, I have a lot of stuff that's open. I have a lot of stuff that's unopened. I have a lot of, I just have a lot of stuff and it's spread out all across my apartment sometimes I get requests to like show how I organize my skincare but like I don't <laughs> if anything it's organized chaos and it's kind of embarrassing so one day when I get it under control I will uh, share that with you but right now it's not happening but anyway <laughs> but anyways so I was kind of like in the process of like looking in the back of shelves and stuff and looking at what I had and I discovered these VT Sika Natural Eye Gel Patches, which I really, really like. These are one of the few fragrance-free eye patches that I've ever found. And there's just a handful out there and I really, really like these a lot. However, let me tell you, do not hoard your eye gels. Once you open them, just use them quickly. <laughs> I find that like within two to three months, eye gels just dry out. It doesn't matter how good you seal them up. Um, you know what I mean? Even if it has the little inner seal and everything, it doesn't matter. They just dry out. I don't know what it is. It's just, that's how eye gels are. And so I used, I tried to use the last couple ones of these and they were just like dry, just like sticky, like they were like pilling. It was just gross. Anyway, so don't be like me because you're just going to waste your eye gels. Just use them. Enjoy them. Don't waste them. You know, I'm a huge fan of Stradia Fortify uh, facial oil. I've lost track of how many bottles I've emptied. It's been a lot. Here is another one. This is a great oil blend with lots of oils with, that are high in like omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, which are extremely good for your skin's moisture barrier. Love this oil. I have been concentrating on just some other facial oils, um, things that I've wanted to try for a long time, things I want to review. So I haven't actually um, purchased a uh, another one of these oils, but I'm probably going to very, very soon because like long time favorite here this is so so good especially if you are um, looking to strengthen up your moisture barrier this is a great product sunscreens so I actually did cover these in that empty newbie video that I mentioned earlier um, this is the keep cool a soothe bamboo sun essence and the be plain clean ocean moisture sunscreen these are also discontinued these are part of the sunscreen scandal i hate that it's just so dramatic sunscreen scam there's a freaking sunscreen scandal like every week you know um if you follow closely in the skincare community there's always something people are finding poison in their sunscreen sunscreens are failing they're causing cancer they're getting into your bloodstreams it's just and honestly it's enough to just like raise your blood pressure and your anxiety to super high levels the fear mongering is just it's out of control Anyways, I emptied these. Um, these uh, say that they're SPF 50. These tested around closer to SPF 30, in my opinion, for like just like an average like daily in and out of the house kind of sunscreen. That's absolutely fine for me. So I use these up. I also use these because I have a lot of these in my backups and I, 
obviously I have very little use for them. I'm not going to talk about them on my channel anymore. Um, so I've been using them like arm sunscreens and like leg sunscreens too. Um, like I said, SPF 30, I'm really comfortable with that. Um, for my uh, sun exposure, I don't get a ton. So that works out well for me. But yeah, they're discontinued. So, you know, on to the next one. Pimple patches, an essential part of anyone's skincare routine. And these are just longtime favorites. The By Wish Trend Clear Skin Shield Patch. These are like my top favorite pimple patches. They're a little pricier, um, but they've got really good adherence to the skin. And the funny thing is, um, this happened a couple of times recently. I would like put them on at night um, and then I'd wake up in the morning and I'd just like wash my face right away and dry it off and like maybe put on some skincare and I realized, oh, I never took the pimple patch off from last night and it literally stayed on while I was sleeping, while I was washing my face, while I was putting on more skincare. So like, yeah, high recommendation if you need really good sticking uh, pimple patches, these are very good. I also really like the Purito All Care Recovery Sika Aid of pimple patches. These are a little bit more affordable. Um, you know, you get a little bit more bang for your buck with these. Also very good adherence um, and these do the job uh, very well as well. So if you remember back in the winter, I got super obsessed with the Shiseido Urea 10% Hand Cream. Yes, I love this. I have very dry hands. Like uh, my body skin is just very dry, but I have very dry, like itchy hands. It gets worse in the winter, but it, I mean, it happens all year round. And this is like one of the few hand creams that is like not super greasy, right? That like just absorbs into my skin so beautifully. Um, but it also like gets down into my skin at a deeper level and really like relieves the itch and the irritation and the dryness. Because urea is actually really good for your skin's moisture barrier. So like that's the secret sauce to this hand cream. Um, it's just really healing and not heavy and not greasy. I mean, I know I said I got obsessed with this in the winter, but like it's a texture for all seasons. It just has really good absorbency. And um, yeah, I bought like my first one. I think I already emptied that one um, and then I like did like a huge haul on yes style I just ordered like a bunch all at once so yeah I emptied um, I emptied this one I've got one on my bedside I've got one in my office I will probably buy this again it's super super good and if you do get like those dry itchy hands definitely give this one a try or just urea in general it is a lifesaver speaking of like hand and body creams this is the derma b mild moisture body lotion i actually bought this last i think it was like last summer um this has been empty for a hot second um but i wanted to share it because derma b is actually a really great korean brand that does make some wonderful body products and i do occasionally get asked about body um products and this is a brand that I really uh, like and trust. They make really great moisturizing products. So this is the lotion and I did also empty, I don't know when it was, sometime last year, I emptied the cream as well, which is a lot more rich and moisturizing for dry skin. The lotion is a little bit more suitable for like everybody. It's a little bit more airy, a little bit easier to absorb, a little bit lighter, but still um, very protective on the skin. Um, this does contain MLE, which is basically I guess the easiest way to describe it, it's like a ceramides cholesterol fatty acid, like patented like mix. <laughs> um, so this is really good for your skin's moisture barrier. Yeah, I really like Derma B products. There's way more to explore with them than just the moisturizers, but really liked this one. It's also a really nice hand cream too, um, like right after washing your hands, just a little pump of this and it keeps your hands really comfortable. So yeah, if you're looking for a nice moisturizer with like a ceramide component, this is a nice one to look at. So this is a little bit different, but still sticking with the body theme. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body body spray. Yeah, you might be a little bit surprised because I'm always like fragrance free, fragrance free, fragrance free. And I'm like, this smells so good. <laughs> This smells so good. Um, I do occasionally like a little fragrance body spray or even a gasp perfume. I just cannot put fragrance on my face. But um, yeah, I like the spray because it's not like overwhelming like a perfume. It doesn't stick with you like all day long. Sometimes I just want like a little refreshing like you know, a little burst of like pretty fragrance, but not something like super intense. You know what I mean? It's just not appropriate for all situations. 
So I became super obsessed with this many years ago. It took me forever. It's like a mini size. It took me forever to empty this. I did buy the full version um, a couple of months ago and I've been enjoying that. This smells so good. Uh, it's that nice like gourmand kind of smell. Uh, it's like vanilla and like spicy and creamy and warm and caramely and delicious. I really, really enjoy this one. It's super overhyped, um, but I like it. So yeah, it brings me joy. All right, let's move on to hair. We are getting towards the end. I've been like speeding through these. You know I'm obsessed with the Oshi. Oh, there's a hair on here. That's kind of gross. <laughs> You can see because I use it. You know, I'm obsessed with the Oshima Subaki 100% oil for my hair. Um, yeah, I use this all the time. Uh, it's been a couple of years that I've been using this. It makes such a big difference in the health of my hair and the like the shininess and the strength. And yeah, it just makes my hair feel and look so, so good. So I just use um, a couple drops of this straight out of the shower on damp hair. And that's it. Um, it just really helps keep my ends in shape. Now, speaking of Korean hair care, because the Oshima oil, that's Japanese hair care, um, but Korean hair care, Lador Wonder Balm. Now, when it comes to Korean hair care, Lador is like my most trusted brand. They make some of my favorite Korean hair care products. They're usually a little bit on the pricey side, but they're so worth it in my opinion. They make really high quality products. I have quite a few Lador products that have been like shower side for a few years. I have been babying these products. It took me like a couple years to empty this, not because I don't like it, but because I was like, saving it. You know what I mean? Um, I really like this. This is a conditioning product. Um, so you can actually use this a couple of different ways. Uh, you can use this on damp hair after you get out of the shower and leave it on, but that's not how I use it. I use this like a conditioner. Um, and this just makes my hair feel so good. You know, those types of conditioners that just like so deeply condition your hair that as soon as you like put it in, like your hair is feeling good in the shower and then you like rinse it. And as soon as the water hits your hair, your hair just smooths out. Like it just completely detangles itself. Okay, that doesn't always happen to me. <laughs> uh, my hair likes to tangle, but with this product, it does not, it just goes straight and smooth. And that's like really like one of the like characteristics of Lador products for me. They just really make my hair smooth, moisturized, healthy, manageable, silky, shiny, like they're awesome. Um, so yeah, you can see why I really like this, but why I might want to like savor this, save this. This is a special occasion uh, type of conditioner. I have a few other Lador products that are almost empty. So you'll probably see some more empty reviews in the next video from this brand. Okay, we're getting to the bottom here. And I actually just have a few makeup empties. You guys sometimes ask me about my makeup. So I figured I'd share some more on that. Um, this is a Smashbox Photo Finish Super Light Smooth and Blur Primer. This is like the only primer that I use. Um, it's incredibly stupidly expensive, <laughs> but I don't wear makeup that often. So it's okay. But this is like in the $40 range. It's dumb. Like it's dumb. And I got mad when I had to repurchase this a couple months ago. I was like, I don't remember it being this expensive, but it also lasts me like a year. So it's okay. Um, I like this. It's a fragrance free primer. It's feels light on the skin. It's not super silicone-y, you know what I mean? It doesn't seal my skin off or like super smooth out my skin in like a fake way. It just feels very natural on my skin. It feels very comfortable. It honestly feels kind of like skincare, um, but it is actually a good primer with good grip and it does smooth, you know, the canvas. So it, from a primer standpoint, it works. From like a comfortable skincare standpoint, it feels comfortable and airy and breathable and it's a simple formula. It doesn't have a lot of weird stuff happening in it. And a lot of weird stuff can happen in your makeup products if you're not paying attention. So yeah, um, I do really like this one. And uh, since I don't have to purchase it that often, the price is okay. Now, speaking of primers, I told you that the Smashbox is really like the only one I wear. And I will tell you, anytime I am on camera, I am wearing this because I trust this so much. But I did actually really enjoy the Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer. And I've worn this on camera too, but it just doesn't have as much longevity and grip as the Smashbox. And so for me, Peach and Lily was one that I would use like off camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like running errands, going out. Well, who was going out last year? Nobody, but the few times I left my apartment, 
<laughs> I use this because this is a really nice primer that's totally skincare meets makeup. There's some like skin beneficial ingredients in here, but it also, there was a little bit of like, just like a little whisper, like a very subtle whisper, a shimmer to this, uh, light reflecting particles, if you will. And that really kind of helps like enhance your skin tone, not in a tone up effect, not in a white out way, but just enhances your skin, makes it look more glowy and more bright. And so I would wear this with like just concealer, do my brows and mascara. And that was like my everyday, very low key makeup look when I would leave the house. That's what this type of product is good for. This is also kind of stupidly expensive. This hits like the $30 mark. I don't like paying that much for primers. Can you tell? Um, but if you're looking for a comfortable, breathable, skin friendly primer without like fragrant ingredients that might give you a little bit of like a skin enhancement, especially if you don't like to wear base makeup, then I think that this is worth it. And finally, mascara. This is the Ilia, the Limitless Lash Mascara. This is another like expensive makeup product, um, but I was really impressed with this and I already bought a backup of this. This is like 20, $22, I think. Um, this is like a very popular mascara on Instagram, um, but I can understand why, because this makes your lashes so lifted, so separated, so long. They look amazing when you use this. This is definitely a top favorite mascara. And for me, it's all about the brush because um, I love these like smaller silicone brushes. I don't like the big spoolie type of mascara brushes necessarily. These really help me just get into my lashes and really work them up. And there's, it's hard to see right now, I'll do like a close up in like B-roll, but there's like a comb, like almost like a comb. There's like two different sides to this and one really lifts the lashes and one really separates them. So for me, the formula is great, but it's all about this brush and it's worth paying for because the effect is like, wowie. I love how this looks. <sighs> you guys, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Okay, that was 29 products that I just reviewed in a row. Okay, I can't believe I emptied 29 products in three months, but I did. Um, and I feel super accomplished about that. I say it in every video, but like when I empty a product, I feel really good about myself. It feels incredibly satisfying. And I definitely love sharing my reviews. And I know they're helpful because you never truly know a product until you've used it from beginning to end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'm definitely gonna do another um, more edited, empty newbie video, probably like in a month or two, I'll definitely do another one. And I love sharing these like three month updates with you guys too. I am always curious to know what have you emptied lately? Let me know in the comment box below. If you love the video and you made it all the way to the end of this video, but you haven't hit subscribe yet, I kind of feel like we have a thing going, right? And maybe we should continue it. So please consider hitting subscribe and uh, turn on notifications because I release two new skincare focused videos every single week, but sometimes I do three and you don't wanna miss out on that third one because it could happen at any time. Um, so definitely hit the notification bell. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I can't wait for you to conquer this day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.